Hello everyone. Welcome back. <coughs> There's a mysterious seashell in here. What? Where? What? In the house? Buy me a hibiscus, how sweet! Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? I would like you to take this letter to Mr. Wright, who lives on the border of the mysterious forest, please. Trade a hibiscus for a goat's letter. Great! <coughs> Is there th there's actually a seashell somewhere? It's react it was it's like it's reacting right like right here. Shovel? No. What I'm so confused. I can't do anything in the house. But it's there? Like in the house? Yeah, it goes off immediately as soon as I enter the house. No, sometimes I can't help eating a delicious piece of paper, even if it's a letter to my darling Mr. White. How embarrassing. <coughs> Check all the pots. Hmm. Nothing to do with the parrot. I'm so confused. Where the heck could it even be? Is there supposed to be one here and something's like bugged out? Like, maybe I can't find it because I have the ghost friend? Hmm. <coughs> Let me... Sorry, I want... I, I want to look this up just so that I'm not going crazy here on this one. Um, Animal Village. Um, there's a near animal village. If you know, you know. You need music to, you need it. What? <coughs> Think about playing music, I guess? I'm not sure. <coughs> No, that that just warps me. Is it? I'm so confused. Um, do 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 do. Seashells. Um. Do 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 do. Animal village. After learning Bell to the Windfish, return to where the walrus was sleeping. It's not the one that's going off, though. I'm, like, in her house. Part of the trading sequence, you'll have to deliver a letter to Christine. Oh, after delivering it, return to the village and enter her house. Talk to her to tell her of you... Oh... I never would have figured that out. I would have been stuck on this for like the entire episode. Okay. <coughs> I have to do that first. Got it. I can do that first. It's not a problem. Um, let's take care of this ghost first. He wants to go to his house at the bay. Let's find the nearest warp to that. Um, the bay is here. All right, I came to this one because this was the closest warp to the bay. Oops, <laughs> I forgot. 
<coughs> like, I specifically came here because... Link, why are you going downwards? Thank you. It be specifically because this is the closest warp I have. I don't know if there are any other warps, but this is the closest one that I have. The house, take me! The house at the bay! Yeah, I'm working on it! Oh, that's for the hook shot. I see. See that now. Whee! Down here we go, I guess. Doesn't really look like there's anything to come down here for, but yay, I went down there, I guess. Um, oh frick, I was paying attention to the water, looking for areas that I can go in the water. <coughs> <laughs> oh hey! There she is, the mermaid! And yeah, she does have her clothes on. And uh, I, w I wonder, just because of like how they have this, if the eastern change, where it was her top, was changed to or the 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 Japanese yeah the Eastern right Japan whatever the the in Japan it was her top um, in the American version it was her necklace I wonder if the necklace translated over to Japan for this scene or not I'm actually curious I was swimming in the bay the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I will let you take a scale from my tail. Cause I mean, back then it was just a sprite. Here it's a 3D model. So it's very, you know, easy to see everything. So I, I can't imagine them hiding her chest there. <laughs> For the, uh, the, the remake here. Oh, okay. I don't know where... But, I see that it's somewhere around here. Have to get to digging as soon as I kill these guys. I'm out of magic powder. <coughs> yes, yes, I, I'm kind of aware that somewhere in this area... It doesn't really tell you where it is, it's just like... Oh, somewhere in this general vicinity. Doesn't even like get stronger when you get closer or softer when you get further. It's just things. You know, hey, somewhere in this area, like it's currently on screen, you know. Oh, under the rock maybe? Yep, there it is. <coughs> A secret seashell. Oh my god, it's gonna be so nice to find them all with that. Like, I've never found them all in the original. I've never even gotten the level 2 sword in the original. Um, oh god. I'm losing my way here. The house by the bay, down there. Oh, I have to actually go around. No? How do I get down there? To the cave, right? Had to go through that cave that I just neglected to go through. So I was like, I don't think I have to go this way. But no, that that is literally the way I have to go. It's literally through here. Like unless there's a way up through the water. Oh yeah, that makes it much easier. Just go around. Yeah, there we go. Go round, go round. Yes, I'm taking you to the house. Shut your face. <coughs> hey, warp point. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, a rock. Let's see what's under the rock. Oh, hey, the warp point. <coughs> Here, enter my house. I think there's even a secret seashell in here. Nostalgia unchanged. Ugh. 
There's the... Woohoo! It moves a little slow. Enough! Cemetery! Take me, my grave! Sure, let me just smash all your stuff real fast. Yay! Secret seashell. <coughs> I was right that there was a secret seashell in here, though. Alright, now we can go to the cemetery. We do have Mambo's Mambo. Plus the warp is right there, anyway. Um, cuz... Everything's kind of further away than I would like to just walk right now. Um, cemetery. Mambo's Pond. I wonder if I can get there just with the song or with any warp point. Oh yeah, there's literally a warp point in this pond. Okay. <coughs> so in the original, Mambo's Mambo only took you to that pond. Um, it's kind of neat that they like expanded Mambo's Mambo into the whole like warp point system. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Actually, this way. I was like, wait, no, that is the cemetery, but it's not the way I need to go. His, his is the lone grave. <coughs> Thank you. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye bye. Bye-bye! Yay! We got a fairy bottle! Looks big enough to hold a fairy inside! Neat! I wonder if then it's just to hold fairies? That, I mean, that'd be cool. Hoot! It has been some time since our past crossed, lad! You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw! The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps! Carry on, water! Hoot! That, that, that's just his voice. <laughs> that is just my headcanon for his voice. Every owl character has that voice. Um, you know what? I'm right here. Might as well hit the witch and get more magic powder. I do have the toadstool currently in my inventory, so... Might as well get more. It has a sleepy toadstool! There we go. Got some magic powder. It's a lot easier to do that than the crane game, honestly. And it's cheaper. <coughs> My throat's just really dry today. I have been talking for a while, so that's probably a big part of it. I've been like I've been recording since episode seven. This is episode like what? What is it? Isn't it twelve now? I usually do like seven episodes in a row. Oh, also I did some Mario Maker as well, so that's like oh extra stuff that I've recorded too. Granted, that was only like a four-minute episode, but still. Goodbye. Do 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 do. Just gonna come on down into May Village because I need the shop. Stop and remember what it was I was after here. I need the shop for some bombs and maybe some arrows. Are there any bomb and arrow upgrades? I don't think so. Ten bombs for ten rupees. Thank you, come again. Ten bombs, ten more rupees. Thank you, come again. Boy, you just really like those bombs, don't you? 
One arrow, one rupee and arrow. Am I on arrows? Uh, let's do one more pack. 30th. There we go. Yep, that gets me up to 10. I actually spent technically more. Okay, these four are probably all bottles then. Then one of these is a hook shot, and then one of these is something else. Um, I wonder if I can get that bottle from the fishing minigame now. <coughs> Let's give it a try. Since that was the other reason I came here anyway. Like, there's a lot of stuff that we can do now that I probably want to do now. So, we up. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'm totally on your line, but moving now. If you're real in a hurry, keep... Okay. Now, it doesn't say anything about anything special needing to be done to actually, like, fish. Um... I think I can do this fine. I don't have that big fish on the right side. I just need to get down here to the fairy bottle. So they're not empty bottles because there's nothing to hold in them except for fairies. Basically. It's just that's why they're just fairy bottles. This fish though. It's like I don't I don't want the bottle to run into the fish and get caught on the fish. You know? Alright, I think we're alright. <coughs> Not sure if these little fish will try to knock the bottle away. Um, I probably want to try to pull the bottle in a little bit further before I try reeling it up. At least before I try reeling it like straight up or whatnot. A little bit further. I just want to get it like past this guy kind of thing. I like that. Ugh. I'll get next time, buddy. <coughs> Maybe I can catch this fish and then catch the bottle after. just completely like he looked at it and then he just completely ignored it after all this for a freaking bottle though <laughs> I mean it's not the first Zelda game to make you fish for a bottle I suppose go 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 got it yeah there we go Good for storing fairies for later. Nice. I would like to actually catch a fish though. If I can be honest. Got it. <coughs> I had a little fish. Just like that, it's worth 11 rupees. I mean, I made my money back. So I didn't, you know, do terrible. Come over to this littler, littler, fatter fish here. I bet you if I get that one that's bottom dwelling there, he's probably got like a piece of heart or something like in the original. Thank you. Yep, no, it's gone past his like aggro range he's not even gonna look at it now even though it's right there got it oh, pfft. that was easy enough <coughs> you're a big fish so how do you think you wish you'd caught something lighter it's a lunker 17 rupees easy oh we got a new lure it's a middleweight lure fish a little the fish a little deeper down will love this one okay First time you landed one this size. So let's buy the case of the pizza fart. Nice. 
I did good. I got a piece of heart. Can we keep going? Sure. Um, oh, shoot. I, for I didn't change my lure. I bet it didn't auto-change it, so... Okay. So, the, to get the big fish that's down there, I probably need a specific lure. You know what? Forget it. Whatever. I don't even care. Caught nothing. I don't even care. Oh. It's not gonna let me. Change lures. Middle eight. Oh, cool. Alright. <coughs> It's a middleweight, so it's not exactly, you know, a heavyweight lure. I'm gonna try getting down here after this guy, but it's not a heavyweight lure, and I assume I need that to catch this guy. Got it! Mmm. Got him! Got him! Boy, the controller's really rumbling here. Ah! That one got away. I'm not surprised. Not sure what I'm supposed to catch to, like, get the next lure, either. Might have to kind of look up a guide on the fishing mini game just so I can figure out <laughs> that that just that was immediate. Uh. <coughs> and a little fish. Wait, I thought. How about that? Like I imagine to get that big fish at the bottom, I've gotta have the heavyweight lure. Like so I'm assuming there's a heavyweight since there's a regular, a uh, you know, lightweight and a middleweight. You don't have a middleweight if there's no, like, higher tier, you know? Got it. And a little fish. I keep going, let me... This guy does have... <coughs> Maybe it does. As I say, this guy probably has a fishing thing, but no, not really. A oh, minigames guide, maybe? Uh, fishing. Minigame is quite simple. Hold the A button and release to catch your line out, yada yada. Full extent, of, full extent of what you do. You can reel on the A or reel it rapidly by tapping it. Oh, I didn't realize. None of these things, the lure will simply sink straight down. Um, do you have a bite? Immediately start reeling in to make the hook. And your goal is, at this point is to reel the fish in without breaking the line. As long as you don't reel too fast, while the line is under too much strain, the fish won't get off the hook. For small fish, you can usually reel in constantly to catch it. For larger fish, you're going to need... Going to be making five steps forward and four steps back until you land the fish. Well, is it safe to reel in? Safe to reel in. Anytime, or anytime the line is vibrating violently. It'll wiggle back and forth con constantly as the fish moves around in the water. Um, a blooper. You have to get a blooper for a secret seashell and heavyweight lure. <coughs> And apparently an old barren fish too? What? Yeah. I've already paid, so I might as well go ahead and fish up another one. There was a bigger fish in there. It's probably just that lunker I've already done, but I'll go give it a shot anyway. 
See how this guy reacts. So I may I'll get at least more monies. If nothing else, you know. Okay, attract him to it. I don't know if like leaving the minigame and then coming back will encourage like new fish. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Okay. Yeah, I'm very confused. <coughs> And that big one at the bottom is back. There again, there is apparently a heavyweight lure, but I need a blooper for that. It's also cheap cheeps apparently, and an old baron. A huge fish over 60 pounds for a chamber stone. So I definitely want to get that. Just kind of let it sink down here. <coughs> I don't know if I need the heavyweight lure to catch this guy. Um. I'm just kind of trying what I can. Oops. I pulled that too early. And it broke his, like, interest in it. Break. I think I just lost him completely now. Nope. I just got it. Okay, so when it's... I'm very confused. <laughs> I, I am really confused. So I guess when the line isn't... Vi like when the line is vibrating like that, you're not supposed to reel in. Yeah, I see that. Okay. I get it. Yeah, no, I get it now. I definitely get it now. Also, yeah, you do definitely want to mash the button more. Wait for it. Got him. Okay. 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 I got it. I get it. I get it. Lurker. Alright. Um, yeah, let's try for that big fish at the bottom. This is going to be the last one I do for this episode, because we're also almost at 30 minutes. Um, but I understand it now. That's the important part. I was very confused at first, but now I actually... I. It, uh, ignoring the guide completely because I don't know if I read it wrong or if it was written wrong um, but so that you are the the guide if I was reading it right so that you are supposed to reel when it's violent and that's apparently not the case or maybe it is I'm now I'm still confused, because that's what I did last time, and that broke even faster. I don't know. Also, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. Um, we'll come back, and maybe we'll see if we can figure out what to do with the fish here. Because I, I don't really understand what it is that is 
I don't quite understand. <laughs> uh, like I thought I did, so. <sighs> I'll fist out now? That's okay. No, wait, lure. I just want to see if, like, leaving and coming back refreshes, like, the fish. It looks like it does. I might get different fish by doing that. I did not cast it out so far. If I'm trying to go for this big guy. That way I don't have to reel it in so much. Um... Oh, was that pulling away? It took a little bit to get the bigger fish in, but patience about. Um, three times for the fish turns back on. As soon as it starts turning back, it should be safe to reel in. <coughs> oh, before suddenly struggling away from you and swimming away, it will pull attention to the line. Um, so don't reel. Don't reel when it's vibrating, I guess. Like that, I thought that's what I did there, but... Maybe it was vibrating too much. Definitely doesn't feel like I'm making any progress, but then the guy does say the bigger fish are going to require patience, so maybe they do, maybe this guy really does just require a lot of patience to reel in. And you just gotta mash the freaking A button too. Like just holding the button doesn't reel in fast enough. Gotta mash the freaking A button. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I think when it is vibrating violently, that means that you have a high chance of losing. Yeah! There we got it! Reels in the big fish so heavy that you wish you caught something lighter. That's a lunker. Really? That was just a lunker? After all that? Screw you, game. <coughs> Alright, well, I'm definitely going to end it there. Um, I might do some fishing off camera, um, just to try and see if I can, like, get these other fish, I guess. It's just like a blooper, and a cheap cheap, and a huge fish over 60 pounds, and a fish called Old Baron. I guess all of those give you stuff. I don't know what each of those are. Um... But I guess, like, I don't know if there's some special way that you have to do those or whatnot to get anything. Um, but I guess I'll just leave it for now. Um, take note of the pond glowing. It will glow when a new type of fish appears in it. Uh, I also list when each fish should appear in the walkthrough, which is top of a non-dungeon page to see when it is newly available in that section. Okay. <coughs> so maybe I'm not even far enough in the game to get these. Kind of is what that's saying. Alright, well in that case I probably won't worry about it then. Um, but yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. So you can get caught up on any episodes that you might have missed. And with that, I will see you guys next time. See you later. <laughs>